So this is Baruch here, and let's see if we can get this light a little bit better on Sipuri Maisios. And that's what we call it, Sipuri Maisios, the saying over of these deeds. Now, these are all secret stories. And you can listen to this story, which we've read a couple of times. We've been through it and read through the first story. So I'm doing the best I can to try to understand how to live my life. Uh, life is frightening, and there are difficult things going on in it all the time. So come over to Rabbi Nachman, the Breslov, who is sweet, as sweet as honey. And he has all these wonderful things to tell us about life that can orient us towards the truth. And some of it is contained in these ten stories. We're starting the first story, and we're reading with the Pirush of those. Well, let's get down to the bottom here of the Nare Aparsimo, which is a which is an explanation which is given by the great Rabbi Lazar Shlomo Shik, who probably does not get the he's passed away. So now I'm exactly what's going on with them, I'm not sure. But they're starting to print things in English again. And these are the works of uh, uh of Rav Shik. So we're gonna come over here to our first story and start reading this Nare Aparsimo. So the uh, I'm going to read it in Hebrew, but do the best I can to translate it in English. So Maisa Risha, the first Maisa, Malvedis Bas Melech from the lost the from the lost princess. So this is a Pirish as we're going to go through this. He says, Ana v'Amar b'Derech Sfirsiparti Maisa. So he says he answered and he said, b'Derech along the way. Siparti Maisa, he told me a story. Shukal me Shoma that everyone who heard it, anyone that would hear it, Hoyulo Hirkur Chuva would have a feeling of wanting to return to God. Zuhi, that is repentance, Vizuhi, this is the story. He says, Call Adam Sarak Vadas, every man has to know. He call Yume Hayenu. Al Admos Adamos Zerbechinas Derech. He says that all the days of our lives, and this earth, this ground, Zerbechinas Derech. So all the days is, is that this is the concept of the path of the road. We are on a road. We are set in motion. We are moving. Kehan the Shama Yered is Melamal. The Shama comes down from up above. They roam Gavchem Aromim for the highest possible places. Ad Olam until this world of action. The Hagashmi, which is physical, the Hamri, and which is very difficult. Hazem, this two words, uh, he says, Agashmi, physical, the Hamri, also another kind of thick physicality, like a donkey. That it continues on, and it continues to, to travel, Bezeha Olam, in this world. Because there is a special hashgacha from up above that is fixed into the neshama. Now, I'm not sure exactly what he's talking about yet, so I'm going to keep going. So understand, he says, that whatever happens in the world, a small thing or a big thing, these things do not happen by themselves. Only under the supervision of the direction, if we could possibly understand this, because it is true everywhere and in everything, under the direction of the Ma'atza Elyon of He who caused all things to be. And so the Shama itself, that is, that godliness which, with is, with, which is within it, in us, it has to be according to the way that it's finely shaped, that is shaped, and its root up above. So he wants to say that all things are connected to roots. Only in the places where that particular root is found. In other words, they're individualized. All the things that happen to us and all the aspects of our hands and our feet and, and the people we know and what's going on and where we live and all of this is a part of this Hashgachah. He called Echad 
gar bebedina acheres because each individual lives in a different country, so to speak. Mechel keha oilam, in other words, we're all over. Bekein hu metaltelas menosas bemakum the makum bemeshuk yemei chayeho ale adamo. So I'll say the same thing. He metaltelas he carries along with his venosos he carries and he he travels. Bemakum the makum from one place to the next. Bemeshuk yemei chayev over the course of his life. Ale adamos which why he is standing on this earth. And the reason why he does this traveling, the reason why we walk on the earth, is in order to rebuild. It's up him, upside of him, to, to rebuild. But as you're walking along, the, or traveling along this path, which is the path that is set out for us in every single way, it's the track of our life, so to speak. But you have to fortify yourself a lot. Unless you fall, you fall into a, a stone of, of a negif that would hurt some, some kind of a damage. Who is that stone negif? Negif is a lush negif, is a lush of, of a plague. Who is that stone plague? Ze Amalek. This is a Amalek, someone who hates a nation of forces that were created by God to hate Jews. Shuhu Gematria Safik. Now he says, wants to teach you something about Amalek. And he says, Amalek, if you take the Gematria of Gamal Amalek, you get to the same the Gematria as, as Safik, which means doubt. What Amalek puts into us is doubt. Like we understand and brought in the words of a of Rabbeinu Zasher that the absolute necessity, lipo bebechinas to fall into the aspect ki sheva lipo tzadik v'kom, seven times he'll fall, but the tzadik and he get up. Shezera sove tevas amalek. These are the words of amalek. Ki hu mapil es adam besvekos because what a malek does. He keeps knocking us down with doubts. Is there a God? Is not God? There is no God. What are you doing? Don't do this. Do that. All kinds of doubts. Is there a God amongst us or not? Because this is this tremendously difficult exile in which we live. Because when a person finds himself on the path of his life, and he enters into him different doubts in faith of what the Almighty is doing, uh, God should save us from this. So to avoid this, a person has to fortify himself greatly. How it is that he needs to travel on this particular path. And the brings over in Lakuti Maran Chelik Aleph Simen Vav. Derek Olapamim Boki. So he says, Derek, the word Derek, which is a gematria of 224, is, is two times the word Boki, which is a gematria of 112. 112 times 2 is derech. Now, what does that mean? Baki means expert, to be an expert. You have to learn how to survive in a beautiful, in, and, and to make the world in which you live beautiful. Shehi shem kadosh v'nori, because this word baki, he says, not like I said, he's a different, different translation. He's, he says baki is a shem kadosh by itself. It's gematria of 113, uh, 112, as I said. Yichud Kudshabarichu, which is if you put it together, one twelve is the word uh, also Yabuk. So if Yabuk is the river uh, or the stream that Yaakov had to cross. Yichud Kudshabarichu, but Yichud, women, I translate wrong. Yichud Kudusha Brocho. So he says also that it's a Roshi Tevis of that, a Yichud making oneness. Uh, uh, and bracha. 
Bolukam Mispach of Avaya Elokim, and it comes also to the concept of Yabak, which I said before, which is a combination of 26, which is Gematria Chaya, uh, Havaya, and 86, which is the Gematria of the name Elokim. Shazak Ku Shem Havaya, he says it out, and Pu, which is 86, Shem Elokim of Yachad, they will spell the word Baki. Baki means expert. But Sarkshi here, Lo, the Lo, Lo, Pa Mayim Baki, but you gotta be double Baki. You gotta be really super expert, Sha'oyda Rabbi to be able to go on to this path of life. And the Shetzarek Bekilus at Suma, Bein Belaylo, but whether you're talking about, excuse, you have to have, I read it wrong. Shetzarek Bekilus at Suma, Bein Belaylo, as you're going up and trying to perfect yourself. Tzarek Shiyeda Asher Havaya Elokim. You have to understand that these two names, one actually is the name of Rachmanus. The other one is the name of Din. Havai is Rachmanas and Elokim is Din. Haina Rebbe Hain Shacholek Loho Betov. The Hain Shacholek Lo Lehefach. So you have to be bucky to be able to to manage your way through whether things are going good for you because that can be a problem too. Get haughty. Or whether things are going bad or you become depressed. Srikhli His Chazek, you have to strengthen yourself. Valeda. Asher Havai Elokim. Heim Shecholet Lo Betov, that is Havai Elokim, that combination is always there. Whether you're doing something good, Shur Havai Chesed, which is Chesed, the Heim Shecholet Lo Lehefer, who goes the other way, Shur Elokim Din, which is Elokim Din. A lot of later, Shur HaKol B'Mani Yisbarach, and then you have to know this, that the whole thing, Havai Dinim, which is Rachmanis, and Elokim, which is Dinim, it's all coming from one place, it's all coming from an Ain Sof Baruch for also the Yisyayish, so therefore it's forbidden to give up hope. Hence, the Yisyayish, Yehi Amasha Yehi, whatever happens, don't give up hope, because it's all Him. Whatever it's going to be, the Zera Chavodis Bar Yisoru B'Zera Olam, and this is the work of the Jew has to do in this world. Hein Ba'aliyah, Kasha Olech Kavar Ba'ez of the Darga, that is when a person has reached a certain level of closeness to God. Shazerah Vesodi Ba'a Sod Baki Baratza, this is a concept of Baki Baratza, Raki to go forward, to move forward. Shaola the Malach Ma'al, a person grows and grows and grows and he learns and, and he's having, he or she is having a tremendous Yichud with the Kodesh Baruch Hu. Allah of Leda, but that person you have to know. Sha'asa the Hishoyer Sham, you can't stay there. You have to keep moving up. Ella his Allah's old Yoser, the old Yoser, keep going, getting closer and closer to the Sham. Vachafidah Shagam Sham, Oiver Allah, Masha Oiver. And even when that happens and you get into things go bad. Hilipam Mim Daika. Miribui or Yacholan Nepal, because it is also true that a person gets too much light, they're able to fall. The person goes into shears when everything is good. The person forgets. Now I'm going to stop right here because they get a little bit long. There's a lot to, to say from Rav Shik, but we're getting a a feeling now for the words of this holy, holy man, I tell you, make big, 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 it gave me a lot. Let me just say that. This is Baruch Fleischmann, Tikkun Elevator Kolo.